Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the soil mechanics, and in this lecture we are going to solve one numerical problem to determine the stresses in the soil layers. So the problem states that find the total stress, effective stress, and pore water pressure for the given soil layers. We are given with two soil layers, and we have to find out the stresses and also draw the stress distribution diagram respectively. So we have to also draw the stress distribution diagram for these two soil layers. The first is soil layer is the sand layer and it is a height of 5 meter and the second layer is a clay layer and it is a depth of 4 meter. The water table is in the top of these two layers so it so the unit weight will be called as a saturated unit weight and the gamma 1 for the sand layer is 20 kN per cubic meter and for the clay layer it is 18 kN per cubic meter. Now to start with the stresses, first we have to give the name for this section. Let's suppose this is 1-1 one, one section and this is a 2-2 two, two section. So we have to find out first the stresses at 1-1 one, one, and then at the 2-2 two, two. and then we can draw the stress distribution diagram respectively. So let's suppose first we have to find out the total stress. So the total stress is represented by sigma and it is equal to the gamma 1 the same layer multiplied with the height h1 and this stress we, we, we want to find out the stresses at the section 1 1. At this point we want to find out the stresses. So the total stress will be equal to the gamma 1 multiplied by the height h1. So at this point we want to find the stresses. So the height is 5 meter and the gamma 1 is 20 for the same layer. So it will become gamma 1 is 20 multiplied by the h1 it is 5. It comes out to be 100 kilonewton per square meter. So this is the total stress at the 1 1 section. Now what is the pore water pressure or the hydrostatic pressure at the 1 1 section. So this is 1 1 section. So we want to find out the pore water pressure here. At the section 1 1. So it will be equal to and it is equal to the mu is equal to the gamma w multiplied by the height h1 because we want to find at the section 1 1 so height is 5 meter and is the water table is on the top of the layer so we have to consider the pore water pressure in this case so this is the depth for this layer and the water and the gamma w will be the unit weight for the water is the gamma w for the water is 10 kN per cubic meter this we know this is a known fact that the unit weight of the water is 10 kN per cubic meter. So it will become gamma W is 10 multiplied by the height H1 is 5. So it is 5. So it is 50 kN per square meter. This is the pore water pressure at the section 1 1. Now the effect to stress. The effect to stress at the section 1 1 will be equal to the the total stress effective stress represented by sigma dash equal to the total stress minus the pore water pressure so the total stress we know that the 100 this is the formula used to determine the effective stress is the 100 minus the pore water pressure is 50 so 100 minus 50 we get 50 so the pore the effective stress at the section 1 1 is also 50 kN per square meter. Now how to find out at section 2 2 we want to find out the stresses at section 2 2. So similarly the total stress it will be equal to now at 2 2 means we want to find out at here at the end of these two layer at the bottom of these two layer so the total stress will be equal to the the stress at this point 1 1 the total stress at 1 1 which is 100 plus the stress at this second point from this from this one one up to this point so this is 
distance is 4 meter and the unit weight for the clay layer is 18. So it will be gamma 2 multiplied by H2. This is gamma 1 multiply H1 and this is gamma 2 multiply H2. So we get the total stress at this 2 2 layer. So it will it will become 100 plus gamma 2 is 18 into H2 is 4 meter. So this comes out to be 172 kilonewton per square meter. Now the pore water pressure it is equal to mu so it is equal to the gamma w multiply with the total height which will be h1 plus h2 because we want to find the pore water pressure at the section 2 2 so it will be the total height this total height will be this taken from this top up to the bottom this will be the total height for the pore water pressure is the water table is in the top of this these layers so gamma w is 10 we know this 10 and h1 is 2 this is 5 plus 4 is 9 so 9 it comes out to be 9 kilonewton per square meter now the effective stress at this section 2 2 will be the total stress minus the pore water pressure the total stress is 172 at this section 2 2 subtracting the 90 which is the pore water pressure so it comes out to be 82 kilonewton per square meter so this is the pore effective stress at the section 2, 2. Now how to draw their stress distribution diagram. So here will be the total stress. Here we want to draw the pore water pressure and here I want to draw the effective stress. So let's suppose these are the reference lines and this is 5 meter. Similarly this is 4 meter. This is the reference lines for the pore water pressure and this is the reference line for the effect of stress so this is the it, these are the reference lines now we know that at the top there is zero stress so it is zero kilonewton per square meter and at, at five meter distance we know that the total stress here it is hundred so here we will bring this line from zero to hundred and this will be hundred kilonewton per square meter so at the one one section are at a distance of five meter there is a stress of 100 kilonewton per square meter at the end of this at the bottom of this layer here it means the, at 9 meter the total stress was 172 so it will be increased again from 100 to 172 kilonewton per square meter so this is the total stress distribution diagram this is the total stress now the pore water pressure at, at the top is zero and here it starts and the pore water pressure at section one one is 50 so it will be here 50 kilonewton per square meter and then at the section two two it becomes 90 so it becomes 90 here kilonewton per square meter so this is the pore water pressure diagram now how to draw the fit to it is the in the same way the at the start it is zero and then at the distance of five meter it becomes 50 same is the pore water pressure kilonewton per square meter and then at the section two two are at the distance of nine meter it is 82 so it is 82 kilonewton per square meter so this is the way how to draw the stress distribution diagram for the different soil layers hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video